It's time to wrap up your college essay. Today we're talking about the outcome of your narrative essay. What did you do after your moment of internal growth and personal change? How did your life change after you had this realization? You should have just written about that during our last video. In this narrative essay write-along series, you only have to write during these videos about the narrative essay. If you haven't started on your narrative essay yet, go ahead and start brainstorming a topic with this video. Here are a couple of examples of the outcome. I do think though that the outcome is the easiest part of your narrative essay, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but let's look at these examples anyway. Why should they be excluded if my ultimate goal was to create a shared prospering garden? I began harvesting my tomatoes green, letting them ripen in my self-created greenhouse. If I left some for the rats, I discovered they'd distribute my tomato seeds for the next year. Not to mention the fact that their excrement made excellent fertilizer. Eager to share my insights with others, I joined the Helping Hands Community Garden, where I've expanded my gardening family and helped donate over 300,000 pounds of harvest in the past three years. It took connecting the dots with Kanji to discover that I am not the master of the garden, not the admiral of the war. Instead, I am simply a reliable tool among my agrarian family, accepting change and sacrificing control to expand the boundaries of garden. On my wallpaper, I inscribe rodent family for the rats that helped me understand the mysteries of gardening. As you can see here in this example, the student is telling us how he treated the rats, how he interacted with the rats and his own garden, um, how he benefited both with his newfound knowledge after his moment of internal change and personal growth. Here's another one. Going to Worlds helped me discover my true destiny, a future career that allows me to solve real world problems with technology. My grandfather once told me that he loved being a doctor because he loved the challenge and variety of seeing a different patient each day. I want to have a career in the medical field where there's a new problem to solve each day, just like there is a different robotics game every year. So here in this outcome, the student is telling us their future career goals, what they learned um, at this competition, what they learned by seeing the different people at the different tables during the competition showed them, gave them the realization about their future that they needed to have in order to complete this essay and in order to go on to college and aim for this career that they would be happy in. And here's our last example. Challenging my assumptions about this creature helped me see myself in a new light too. I'm still a hunter, passionate about pursuing the causes I care about. Recently, for example, I started a nonprofit to equip other high schoolers with tools to raise awareness for mental health issues. But like the blobfish, I'm also capable of floating or following unexpected moments of curiosity wherever they lead. And these tendencies don't compete. They feed each other. My childhood, my childhood Minecraft obsession with command blocks and redstone logic gates helped me master Excel in my Wharton business class on prescriptive analytics. In college, advancing from Excel to Python will help me solve complex business problems even more efficiently. Similarly, the hours I spent poring over old AIM problems and proofs about the four color theorem taught me how to attack seemingly impossible problems, a skill that will enable me to thrive in upper level economics and statistics classes. Even as my world changes, my appreciation for the blobfish and everything it represents will remain. This student has gone in to talk about some opportunities that they had, resume opportunities, um, that their internal change uh, help them realize how those different things connected in their life. Now you do not have to have fantastic, amazing like experiences like this student in order to have an effective outcome. The outcome that I am going to write today is going to be just about how my interactions with my dog and the training of my dog changed after I realized that it was my attitude that was the problem. So I'm not gonna be mentioning like any prestigious classes because that doesn't fit into my essay. If it fits into your essay, great, but don't try to shoehorn it in. You'll have plenty of time for talking about those in supplemental essays if they don't fit into your narrative essay. So they do not need to fit into your narrative essay. In fact, typically I lean away from including those in a supplemental essay. Let's take five minutes to write our own outcomes here. Now you should have already written almost your whole narrative essay at this point. This is the last paragraph you need for your narrative essay. You are almost done with your college essay. So you may wanna take a moment to read through what you've already written. And here's our five minute timer. You can pause it if you wanna read through what, you wanna, what you've written first, and then let's go.
time's up. Congratulations on finishing your narrative draft. I'm gonna read you mine, my outcome, and then we'll talk about what happens next. What you need to do no yet yeah, next, not what happens next in my essay. Take a deep breath. Mr. Bingley barks at the pugs across the street, then looks up at me. I feed him a treat to connect the trigger with positive reinforcement, keeping myself calm by breathing slowly and deeply. It doesn't matter what they think. When we come in from our walk, I sit on the couch and make room for him on my lap, where he curls into a croissant. That's it, that's my outcome. Maybe not the best outcome ever, but that's okay. So at this point, you have a full draft of your essay. I would recommend doing a round or two of revision, regardless of where you're applying, to give you the best chance of admission. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna write down what you want the admissions officer to gain from your essay, and then you're gonna read back through it or have someone else read through it and see if you're su successfully getting that message across to the admissions committee, right? Across to the reader of your essay. I would also go through, catch any spelling, grammar, punctuation mistakes. Obviously you don't wanna have those in your college essay. Since we did this all in separate videos, there may be some moments where you realize you should have changed the phrasing. I would go back and do that now that you have the whole draft together. But really, you're pretty much done. A little bit of revision isn't gonna take you very long, right? Congratulations and thank you so much for sticking with me for this essay right along journey.